I'm ready to say goodbye to her. Brava. Brava. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. The library yes. is open. Yes. Yeah. Welcome back, gay schools, and everyone in between to our YouTube channel, The, the Horror Bandwagon. Wagon. Hi, my name is Sergio. And my name is Cody. And we are boys for horror analysis. Criticism. And spooky, okay. And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. And welcome back to another Scream Queens reaction. Today, we are going to be reacting to episodes 9 and 10, meaning that there's only three more episodes after this video. I cannot wait. And we still haven't really revealed everything, yeah. which is kind of weird. So right now, we know that Nassim Padrad is involved in all of this, but also Nick Jonas. Mm -hmm. I almost said Joe Jonas. I was really, really glad that I caught it <laughs> in my mind as Good it job. went <laughs> out my mouth. But there's also another killer that we don't know about. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's a lot to uncover, and I keep praising this show for one, being totally gay, and I love it, but two, that they're able to keep us interested already like at episode nine. Yeah, and honestly, we were living for the last two episodes, oh. so I'm so excited to watch these next two. But before we get started, y'all know what to do. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. And if you want to support the channel even more, you can go over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash the horror bandwagon. And don't forget to join our Discord where you can talk to us about Screen Queens and anything else that's on your mind. The link is going to be in the description below. But without further ado, let's get into it. Oh my Damn God. straight, I'm out in public. I'm the master of disguise, baby. I love that you can see his beard like already coming off of his yeah. face. Yeah, but I mean, I'm... The beard is growing on me for Nick Jonas. Really? A little bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're agreed. We take Gigi out tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. You come after Bone, and you best call correct. Oh my God. I forgot about this. Everyone, now the killers are conniving against themselves. Oh my God. <gasps> I gotta call you back. Bone. Oh no. no. I'm Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> Caught me. I'm a ghost. Stop. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm the ghost of dead boon. You oh back to the on me for saying you couldn't gay pledge cap. I love it. I'm sort of gay now too. Please. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> I'm loving where this episode is going already. Yeah. Man, we're really never going to see that opening credit theme anymore. Mm -mm. I was friends with the Lone Ranger. Sacagawea guided the Lewis and Clark expedition. What? No way. Sacagawea taught the pilgrims how to make cranberry sauce and then like sang blue corn. Oh my God. No. Chad and I were enjoying a very romantic compliment night. You're so hot, you give my bone a bone. Thank you for that compliment. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting better. He's getting better. I've successfully used the sorority for its proper God-given purpose. To be a part of a sisterhood and make lifelong friends. Ew, no. <laughs> <laughs> or follows you home and murders you here. Or if you get murdered tonight because it's the last night of Kappa Kappa Tau and it seems highly likely that the killer will come after us. <laughs> like I said. <laughs> <laughs> They're still there. They're gonna still rock it. Investigating. Pete said he'd stay with me. I bet he did. Uh. But no way I'm gonna let you be the only box of macaroni left in the Red Devil's cupboard. That is quite a sentence mm -hmm. to say. This <laughs> is shutting down. If you want to figure all this out, you can do it from the safety of my grandma's house. You can't spend Thanksgiving alone. I like that idea. Mm -hmm. I say go with that idea. Because this is also the grandma who gave her the uh, defense chainsaw, exactly. I'm assuming. So. so she probably has a ton of chainsaws on the beds. Cost $63,000. Uh, yeah, okay. When something costs $63,000, you wrap it in bubble wrap. <laughs> <laughs> then bubble wrap me up because that's exactly the selling price. <laughs> Being haunted by a ghost. What you heard me, 
Late last night, I was walking around campus and I saw the ghost of dead gay Boone. <laughs> dead gay Boone. You know what? That's what the, that's the superpower that we should have mm -hmm. as gay people. We just haunt all our bullies in the afterlife. Because you're hungover. Of course I'm hungover. You know why I had to get hammered last night? Because I saw the ghost of dead gay Boone. <laughs> <laughs> See, when I get scared and I feel like, like ISIS done broke in my house, I tell <laughs> who returns from the dead when you say his name five times or the <laughs> no bring it on with the hairy arms just like hers uh, oh, <laughs> oh my god the one about the kappa is the creepiest of all they live in the sewer oh to sit your ass oh. on the toilet Reach up and grab you, snatch you by the vagina. Oh, what? Crush body in raw sewage. The end. Now I'm gonna be worried about my booty hole. Like, <laughs> okay, okay, I hear you. Mama Denise knows you're still scared, so you just might need another ghost story. <laughs> I love it. Who lurks mm. in women's bathroom? What? Uh. Why another story about a bathroom? <laughs> I'm just telling the story. <laughs> same, same thing. Same thing. And then he makes you choose the red roll. What? Or the blue roll? What? Is this just the Matrix? She's gonna retell the Matrix. It's so that would be so funny. Red roll. Slit your throat. But if you pick the blue roll. He will strangle you. Oh. I really have to pee, but there is no way I'm going anywhere near a toilet. I'm gonna go look for a salad bowl to squat over under the stairwell. <laughs> <laughs> Fair girl, honestly. I have to kind of like mentally tell myself, no spiders will crawl up in me. Oh my God. Number one fear. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hey Chad. So it's true. You have come back to haunt us. <laughs> and got a haircut. Ghosts walk among you every day. You would never know. Only us ghosts know who is a ghost and who isn't. Of course. <laughs> the fact that, like, this is working, honestly, I kind of believe it. Like, you could totally pass yourself off as a ghost in this world. Turns out I've been a ghost this whole time. It's, it's true. He's been dead and not even there. A sure thing, Oxford? Why? Come back to take Zayday Williams on a really nice, expensive date that will totally impress her. Hold up. <gasps> so he's not gay? Did you forget? You're super gay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> but I don't want to be dead anymore, bro. All right. All right, Nick. It's dating Earl Grey, though, right? I wouldn't worry about that. <gasps> I'll talk to him, straighten him right now. Oh, I don't like how he said that. Uh-uh. Earl Grey is super hot. Don't take him away. <gasps> We're gonna get a death. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Don't leave the door open. Oh no. <laughs> God damn it. <gasps> oh no. No way. No, I'm not ready to say goodbye to her. <laughs> come on, come on. Yes! Yes! Oh shit! Jesus! The killer just attacked me in the bathroom. We have to get out of here. We ain't going nowhere. Not until <laughs> I hear another ghost story. If I oh my god! <laughs> so we can get out of here? Okay, fine. I have one. Let's all sit by the fireplace. Do they have a fireplace everywhere? Yes. Goals. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's Sam Michelle. Mm -hmm. Has escaped from maximum security Breslow Asylum, where he was being held for the grisly murders of 10 people. The public is recommended to lock their doors. Honestly, that would be so fucking scary. Yeah. I would be like, I need to get home like now. Find me the next hotel. Oh, this is my, uh, this is like the one story that has stuck with this me This is one so of the much. like urban legends that yes. you, you don't like. Yeah. He was going to kill her. I was trying to warn her. Every time he popped up, I would hunk and flash my high beams to scare him back down. It is terrifying. Uh-huh. 
Damned. If he escaped a mental institution in the middle of the night, then where did he get a meat hook from? Because he's the meat hook killer. The story. That's that's Cody at every horror yeah. movie that we see. <laughs> Feel my blood pressure coming down, and I'm not gassy no more. <laughs> I'll leave now. The killer. So ghost stories are her Pepto Bismol. Are there any direct flights from Oakland to London? <sighs> Aww. And it just turns out he's a bad kisser. <gasps> That's okay. That can be te that can be taught. Perfect. I need my lotions, my silk robe, my essential massage oils, a bottle of champagne, and chocolate covered strawberries. Oh, girl, that sounds nice, but right now, you know. <gasps> Hello? Who is that? <gasps> gay ghost. Dead gay boon! <laughs> I'm his ghost. I'm Ghost Boon, but you can just call me Boon. Nice shirt. Oh, so that's. So he's the killer who. Brought her on a date. I assumed that it was Earl Grey. But maybe Earl Grey is not the killer. Well, then how do you explain me being here? You faked your death. Boone? Boone is in here trying to seduce me with the oldest line of the book. He says he's a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Heard it all before. We both know how you got this fork mark on your hand from when I stabbed you in your evil lair. You're Told you. <gasps> oh, oh no. Is he actually gonna die? Oh, oh what? No way. He's Ghostface. I guess he is. I mean, he did say he's a ghost, so his face would be Maybe a ghost. Maybe he is a ghost. Boone was upstairs. What? Yes, except he's not dead. That makes no sense. <laughs> Staying in this house for a moment longer. I am leaving right now, and I'm going home. Number five, don't go. Actually, I'm totally fine with her leaving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gray. Is that a silk robe? It looks like velvet. It looks, I don't think it's silky. Oh, oh! No! Damn it. How you survived that fall, I don't know. Uh, I thought you were dead. Wasn't. Oh, no. man. We didn't even get to see him shirtless. Uh -uh. For Boone Clemens in connection with the recent Red Devil killings. Boone is very handsome, but police. <laughs> this is honestly my biggest fear, though. I check yeah. the back of my car every time I get in it. But what if it's Nick Jonas in the back? That's the real question. Does it get scary or does it get horny? Well, see, then the question is why do you even open the door in the first place and give him a chance to escape? <laughs> Honk and flash my high beams and it would scare him back down. Hey, well, I'm really sorry about that, but you have to admit that what you were doing was super confusing. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. Granted, I'm pretty high on Adderall and I've been on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, he was there. He had this machete. Dude. Ah! Oh, God. You're gonna decapitate him? <gasps> oh, my God. You know what they need to do? They need to bring back this show and put it on like HBO. So that Ooh, way it's like, yes. we can see all the gory bits. And in HBO, Earl Grey would have taken off his shirt. Oh yeah, and get some butt action. Mm -hmm. So why not me? Okay, first oh, of all, do wait, not okay. me while packing. She got, she, she got a, a bedazzled plate. Did we mm -hmm. see that before? If I can explain this to someone who's A, not a psychology major, and B, clearly doesn't get the fact that I've obviously been ignoring you. Okay, here are the top five. <laughs> Your breath, it always smells like you just ate a cheeseburger. Seriously, it's like making out with a hamburger. Reason number four, you, my friend, have a poo belly. <gasps> Not the poo belly. Back facsimile of the hook hand story Hester told about an hour ago. Yeah. Honestly, if you're gonna get attacked, please attempt to get attacked in a fresh, exciting way. <laughs> Is one of them, which means he's probably the baby in the bathtub. We should call the police. They've got to find him. We already did. The police. Oh, Kiki is giving me tears. Like mm -hmm. she's committing. Screw Chanel's boyfriend, Chad Radwell, and wreak ultimate vengeance. What? <gasps> That's right, oh, Chanel. Her I thought that Chanel always knew, but. Me for taking pride in a quality pack job, Chanel. Packing matters to me. That's why I chose to minor in luggage sciences with an <laughs> emphasis in packing. Oh my God. <laughs> She's pregnant. <gasps> oh, scandalous. Uh-huh. They guess so. 
I mean, most of the time we porked in a way that could not result in pregnancy. If you know what I mean. Anal. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> but I guess I gotta marry her now. Take her home to Thanksgiving. Wait, what? Yikes. Sorry, Chanel. Ignore the obvious fact that you hate me and love nothing more than playing super humiliating pranks on me? Why do you always have to make everything about you? <laughs> <laughs> we have to figure out a way to get rid of Chanel number six. When you say get rid of her, do you mean like force her to leave or kill her? <laughs> <laughs> just want to know. There's a slight margin there. Chanel, you cannot just run around murdering people, okay? That just means you're the killer. It makes her a killer, not the killer. What? That's fair. Best sketch artist in the business. So if you can just close your eyes and do your best to describe Boone, we can get a drawing of the suspect. <laughs> it's Boone. <laughs> it's Boone. <laughs> Cameron to come assist with this investigation. I'm the founder of an organization called the Department of Paranormal Exploration. <laughs> Jeez. Theory that the perpetrator of these murders was not being caught because he's a ghost. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. You had a call back for that show on the sci-fi channel where they run around with the night vision goggles. Look, look. Is this <laughs> Ghost Hunters? I think so. Ghost Adventures? It's just giving me grave encounters. Earl Grey was a good man with powerful arms and a sexy accent. And now... <laughs> yes, amen. The benefit of meeting you is that I now know I clearly have a type. And that type <laughs> is a moron. I am not only going to make... At least you're aware. Self-aware queen. Mm -hmm. I do have something that might be of interest to you about that night. Just giving us another piece of the puzzle. Uh -huh. There were two babies. <gasps> Wait, we know this. <laughs> After I sent your mother and her two slightly less bitchy friends out. <laughs> my money son, yes. That newborn had that same cocky smirk that Boone has. So then who is the other baby? So it must be the girl baby and the scene Padrad who was taking care of them. With me. Seriously, what kind of person just turns their back on someone's soul like that? No, I'm beginning to think. I was really hoping we were about to like find out. I know. I would have been living, but it's too early. It's too early. Well, I see that you're enjoying the good life. Don't start with the judgment, Gigi. All right, I've had a really tough day. You know, there's an. Watch it just be like Nick Jonas, but with like. Oh my God. I don't know. No ears. <laughs> As yourself, wearing a date shirt and trying to convince Zayde to sleep with you because you're a ghost. Yeah, I don't get what that had to do with anything in this plot. Just that he well, just was horny for Zayde. What he said is that since he's gay, if he has sex with the girl, then they'll let him come back. Oh, that was real. Is, yeah, that was his justification. Oh, oh At least okay, okay. Chad. Four years of my life learning how to slow my breathing and heart break down to the point where even a trained coroner would declare me dead. I studied filmmaking. There it is. Told us. I pretended to be gay <gasps> and went undercover no, in the Dickie Dollar Scholars. And I was the one who masterfully pretended. Oh, he was pretending to be gay. Oh. Bummer. It's time for you to go. What? No. No. No, 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 no! <gasps> oh, I knew that was yeah, going to happen. Yeah, it was coming. Yeah, I originally thought he was going to kill him right there. Who is it? Why haven't you had any of the sushi? I mean, we got it just for you. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> uh, I want sushi right now. To taste the champagne. It's a special champagne with triple the alcohol and a nicotine mouthfeel because it's infused with tobacco. So these are all <laughs> things that you're not supposed to have if you're pregnant. Oh, <gasps> no. What do you think about the whole sushi cheese alcohol thing? Fine. Prove it. You're not leaving this room until you've peed on every single one. <laughs> this is a good cool alternative to killing her. Yeah. Refer to the Hamptons. That means that I'll be the one attending Thanksgiving, where I'll have ample opportunity to get pregnant all weekend long. Oh no, she's off the rails. <laughs> oh, oh no, oh no! What is she gonna do? Hester, I'm sorry. Oh, I for sure thought she was gonna Me push her. Me too. For sure. A few moments later. 
This is like a, a telenovela. It just seemed like a bridge too far, but trust me when I say this had to happen. And I'm confident that I'll be able to redeem myself morally in everyone's eyes. I mean, she already killed Miss Bean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's get her in that meat locker. Damn. Jesus. Uh, I mean, Ugh. it's so strange because I feel like they have a killer on the loose, yeah. but then they also know that Chanel's also a killer. <laughs> like, uh -huh. Now she's killed two people. Yeah. Well, Miss Bean, not really. No, she 100% did. She by accidentally killed her. Still killed her. <laughs> Thanksgiving with your family in the Hamptons. But then she had a little accident down the stairs. Oh, what? Wait, are, are you saying you? I feel like she's going to still be alive, but just like paralyzed. <laughs> What did you do with the body? Duh, I put it in the meat locker. It's where we've been putting all the dead bodies. <sighs> Chanel, that is so hot. <laughs> <laughs> I forget that he likes dead bodies. Yeah. Show it to you so that you and I will share a dangerous secret that'll strengthen our relationship and bring us closer together. And it's gonna be gone. As it always does. This is like the like teleportation Meat locker. This is surprise Pikachu face. <laughs> Every other body they put in here has disappeared. Watched her fall down the stairs. After she fell down the stairs, did you check her pulse? No, Chad, because I'm not like a registered nurse. Well, <laughs> okay. So you should probably bring a security detail with you to the Hamptons because I mean, the girl's insane. And she'll probably stop at nothing until she gets her revenge by murdering you. Oh no. It's so funny that every like person just talks about murder. Like it's like nothing. Instead of spending Thanksgiving all single and watching the dumb parade with you. Aww. Still, I do appreciate you keeping the devil alone. Though I do I do love watching the Macy's Day Parade. It's fun. I'm not gonna lie. I love that tradition of waking up, getting my coffee, putting it on, and then getting everything ready for Thanksgiving. <gasps> you just screwed up that entire operation. God. I have never said it in any of these reactions, but I love that the that they have nails on the outside of the Red Devil's gloves. <gasps> love it. Sake, we need to protect your cover, but I am not letting you leave on an empty stomach. <laughs> I hope you're hungry. Why am I like loving the devil now? Oh, are we gonna meet like everyone's parents? Like this is the parent episode. I think so. That is kind of fun. Wait, but her, isn't her dad Charles Manson? Her her biological, biological dad. Biological yes. Yeah. Freddie was the one who went and got Grandpa's old pistols and challenged me to a duel. I know, darling. But your father loves your brother much more than he loves you, so we are getting... <laughs> <laughs> this is triggering. This is triggering. Look who's here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so jealous. I would live for this. Oh, and I'm starting a new family tradition. It involves me never coming to any family occasions ever again. Honey. And I totally respect that. Uh-oh. What the fuck is going on? <gasps> Girl, is it Denise? Oh, oh my God. Would you stop with the screaming? I mean, what are you doing here, girl? Why is she in the Kappa house? Ah! I can cook and eat for the both of us. But I demand that after we eat, we play charades. Deal. Charades. I guess like a two-person charade party is not bad. You can play charades with two people. Yeah. You promised me you'd at least come by here before you flew to Oakland with Zayday. Yeah, we decided not to go. You're in town? Where are you? We're at Kappa. Oh, they're all staying at Kappa. Oh, this sounds like it's going to be fun. Yeah. You know, thanks, uh, Turkey Day with the girls. Too many or you'll tear the skin. I mean, I guess you could come over here if you wanted. Okay. I think that's a bad idea. Yeah. But... Welcome, everyone. It is so nice you could all make it home for another that... Radwell family Thanksgiving. No, it's not. We have a new... That's Chad Michael Murray. <gasps> Our newcomer, Chanel... Berlin. Oh, oh my God, he looks so good. Mm -hmm. Chad hasn't mentioned you, ever. 
Before we... Uh, and I forgot this actor's name, but I know him from a lot of places. I feel like we've seen her in stuff before, too. She has, yeah. She's been in a lot of things. Oh, well, the Radwells came over on a ship that arrived 30 years before the Mayflower. Oh, you tell her. I'm Thad Radwell. Thad, and this year, I'm I so can't. thankful for the lax and decency laws in Eastern Europe. If the next brother is called Brad, I swear. I'm Muffy St. Pierre Radwell. And I'm Muffy. And also that I'm starting my very <clears throat> own new clothing line. And it's hey, everyone. So I'm Brad Radwell. Ah! I knew it! I knew it was gonna be Brad! Hello, I'm Chad Radwall. This year I'm thinking. Oh, you know what? Support your man. Support your man. I wouldn't be the man I am right now. In fact, I wouldn't be here at all. I am, of course, referring to the serial killer who's stalking the campus. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for sparing me. Do you think that Chad is going to get murdered at some point? I think so. Long life. Oh, you have such a vast future ahead of you. You'll meet so many new and different women. And move on from. But you should be thankful that this table is too long for me to reach across and strike like a bitch. You don't mess with the Chanel, girl. Oddly enough, this is the same speech that uh, Cody's family told me. False. Um, this is False. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, Radwells. I'm sorry I'm late. What did I miss? This is going to be intense. <laughs> I mean, I did notice that when she fell down the stairs, it was like she landed and then there was a beat and then her neck cracked. Yeah. When I woke up and regained consciousness, I felt better than ever. Really, I should be thanking you right now. That fall, it might have cured me of my severe scoliosis. Oh my God. <laughs> this is, this is nuts. I carry in no, a little bit uh... of each one of you inside of me. I have Oh, he chugged that wine. That's a lie! I saw her eat sushi, soft cheese, and booze! Enough! Chad! <laughs> Hoochies! I'm sorry, but maybe you didn't hear me. I'm carrying your future grandchild! You listen to me, you swarthy little runt. <laughs> <laughs> On retainer, just to make spurious paternity claims like yours simply go away. I mean, that's what I thought was gonna happen. Mm -hmm. The only thing you're carrying is water weight, you bloated little tram. Oh, damn, girl. Oh, my God. The reed. Nothing like a reed from a mama. It's me, the stuffing. <sighs> wow. Oh, there's a cute picture. Mm. Uh, there's a cute little frame. I have a little game to play that's going to make the time fly right by. Uh-oh. Something's up her sleeve. Mm -hmm. One of the Red Devil killers is Boone. I propose that the other yeah. Red Devil killer is Chanel number three. Oh! I've never killed anyone, as far as I know. But your real daddy has baby Manson. Okay, there is no evidence. Man, that spread fast. Your dad is Charles Manson. How do I know this? I'm not saying it's because it's none of your business, bruh. I was probably the last one to wake up and come downstairs that night. Oh, okay, we're getting more more behind the scenes here. With perspiration, trying to sneak into her room undetected. That is more than a little suspicious. I have bathroom shame issues. Uh. No one will disturb me. I usually wait a week or so between movements, so it can be kind of an intense workout. I sweat a lot. Damn. Um. <laughs> you know what I just realized? Is that their bathroom in this house has stalls. Mm -hmm. Hold the phone, Dean Munch. I'd like to play too. And the person I think it is... It's you. Oh! I suppose we should discuss the matter of payment. <gasps> what are you talking about? Alan Thick. Yes. That's his name. Family is super gross rich. <laughs> Look at how you've chosen to dress. That outfit screams desperation. <laughs> oh my God. Damn, this whole family just reads you down. Mm -hmm. 42, if you can't wait till the next morning, eat those leftovers. You turn those leftovers into dessert. What about the pumpkin pie? <laughs> Mom? Dad? Dad? Brad? I'm trying to get my aspect on! What is an aspect? It's what's in front of us there. It's a bunch of food and jello. Yeah. It's beef, venison, alligator, buffalo, rabbit, goat, rattlesnake, and spam. I cut all of these super. I was wondering where Chanel number five was. 
go home. But apparently my family forgot to tell me that they were going to the Maldives this year for Thanksgiving. Oh, <laughs> poor Abigail. And then started removing us from school the only way you could. Murder. She has a point, Dean Munch. I mean, we've always suspected this this whole time. The only person in this room we know for a fact is a murderer. I saw you in the coffee shop the other day, reading one of your old Playgirl magazines. Uh, <laughs> what? A pickle wedge, a blondie, and a half-eaten bologna sandwich. Oh. Wait. Wait, what? People who are allergic to those things are affected by the sulfites in them, which are plentiful in, in the wine. spam that's in my stuffing. And also in spam. Oh. <laughs> in the red wine you're washing it down yeah. with. Feel free to... But I think the killer might be you. Oh, <gasps> not you calling out your own daughter. Well, I mean, we've called out her dad many times. The killer too. I mean, it would fit in with your whole hard worker. Let's find out the truth. Never take no for an answer. Awful personality. <laughs> <laughs> so you swore to come to Wallace and create an even bigger, even worse boogeyman to represent Kappa, the red devil. Anything. Honestly, it makes sense. I believe it. Can't rest when the killer's still out there, so I stayed behind to do some more research. But how did you know we were here? Zayday has been live tweeting the whole night, and uh, oh my god, girl, they just they just think my best friend is the killer. Send to the twenty sixth. Wait a minute, March twenty fifth. I know that date. That's the date that Melanie Dorcas, the former president of Kappa Kappa Tau, was killed by a red devil. Wow, are you guys sisters here? Oh, that is so cool. I'm an incoming freshman and I was just checking out the campus and I was desperate to see the inside of this place. It is so weird seeing her without the earmuffs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then you guys kicked me out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good times. <laughs> <laughs> and since Pete already had the costume, we thought it would be a good idea for people to see what he looked like. Yeah, but we didn't carry through with a plan. Oh, thick as thieves. Maybe they're both in, in it. <laughs> no, I am not. No, no, she's not. And now I'm sure of it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> same <Me>. girl, same. Fucking <laughs> or gesturing, and your team has to guess it before the time runs out. Brad, why don't you start us off? Come on, Brad. This is kind of actually my family. We're a board game family. Uh, yeah. We're not quite this animated. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Go! Uh, uh, oh! Uh, <laughs> Gold digger, not welcome. Oh, unattractive short person. Oh, 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 not them reading me. Uh, oh. Uh, doesn't belong here. Should have left hours ago. <laughs> A weird big neck. Oh, oh, on, 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 oh, on. Neck brace, neck brace. Yeah. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, no. Neck, dead neck brace, girl. Uh, overfed, overfed girl oh. with a neck brace. Oh, no, no. Too chunky to wear that outfit. <gasps> oh, that's so mean. Needs to contact the good people at Hasbro because the odds of you picking neck brace whore. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh no, I can't. I should have left. Teams are not really supposed to be conversing between rounds. You will not shut me up this time, Chad. I have something to say. Do it. Tell him off. I'm sorry. You, Chanel number six, are my sister. And that bond is stronger than some silly little attempt on your life. Yes, girl. Your leathery excuse for a mother looks like an ostrich hide clutch from last season that somehow learned to talk. And Mr. Radwell. The library yes. is open. Yes. yes, yes. I've honestly seen more tasteful decor at a sizzler. Oh, give it to them. And Chad Radwell, whatever we had between us is over. Damn straight. Because no woman in her right mind would want anything to do with this family. So goodbye, Chad. Goodbye forever. Oh, is Leo Michelle gonna stay? Really? Yes, yes, yes. All I've ever wanted is to be your sister. Oh! Fine. Let's hit the road number six. We're I underestimated her. Brava. Brava. Though now I do feel guilty for laughing at everything they said. <laughs> <laughs> So you had to find another way to keep her from becoming a sister. And what was the best way to do that? Hmm. To get it would be such a twist if he is the actual dad of the twins, too. Who? Him. Grace's <gasps> dad. He oh. was in college. 
and was going to parties at the sorority. Oh, wow. Uh, How could such a stud evolve from a boy who was so clearly a douche? <laughs> <laughs> Bombed at that party. I mean, I remember I puked while I was making out with some girl, but there is no way that I could have found my- uh, During? Oh my God. So I tapped into the secret camera Chanel had installed all over the house. And you, sir, are in the footage. Oh, <gasps> what? That is highly suspicious. Valerie and I can't afford meat and that freezer, it's got chicken, burgers, ribs, there's whole sides of beef. So I figured I'd just make sure that none of it went to waste. I'm glad that they're self-aware that they have just a stocked meat locker. Uh -huh. I kind of snuck into Mr. Gardner's apartment get some hair from his brush and I have- mm, He's going to many lengths to solve this. I'm sorry to say, Mr. Gardner, but you are the father. What? You I'm, got I'm sorry, it. my dad is- Oh! I'm sorry, Mr. Gardner, but this is what they call an orgy of evidence. Oh. <laughs> I'm obligated. I don't think they call it that. I, I don't think so, but- Pete's not gonna call the police. I told him that you're my dad and I know you. I mean, oh, okay. So yeah, let's not let's yeah. not call the police. Sure. I mean, all tonight did was prove that at this point it could be anyone, except you and me, of course. Totally. Totally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah, I hate when they immediately just be like, "We're not him. It's fine." And then Chad's dad offered me fifty thousand dollars to leave and never come back. It's amazing. She looks great. I, did... I do love that color on her. Yes. Chanel number three and I are thrilled to announce that Tiburon is ready to be served. Oh, rest in peace, Tiburon. I guess now that you found out you fathered a bastard murderer, who's your sibling? <laughs> this does remind me of like the revelation in Halloween 2 where they realize like Laurie Strode is uh, Michael Myers' sister. Mm -hmm. He's awesome, how dare you? And second, yeah, I did come back, but it's only because I knew you'd have turkey here. So I thought I'd get my turkey on with you. So he just has Two turkeys in one day? That's a lot. You know, I really thought this bird would be a lot heavier. Yeah, Dean Munch, you must have really overcooked the turkey. A lot heavier. Is is that not gonna is there not gonna be a turkey under there? I bet it's gonna be a head. Whose head? Boone. Boone. I think it's Boone's head. <laughs> tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me! <laughs> Oh! What? What? Holy fuck! Stop it! I was not expecting that. All right, guys. So that was our reaction to episode nine and ten. We are getting so freaking close to the finale. It's honestly making me a little sad. Like this has been such a fucking fun journey through this show. Yeah, I'd like to officially re-guess who I think the killer is. Oh yeah, we haven't really checked in as to what our theories are as of right now. So a lot has happened in these two episodes. Mm -hmm. So let's hear it. So right now, I think it might be Abigail Breslin's character. And the only reason I say that is because she is the only one who we didn't actually see with their family in this episode. <gasps> oh, you're right. And she could be hiding it. Yeah. But also, also, she was the one. Okay, 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 okay. She was the one who was away during the, during a good chunk of this episode, right? Yeah. And she could have like done something while she was with uh, Nassim Pedrad's character, which I, Gigi, with Gigi, right? But she also was the one who grabbed the, the turkey who said that this is lighter than expected. Mm -hmm. Huh. I think you're onto something. And that could still be wrong. Well, uh, part of me is like, this show is so freaking wild that it could be like some totally like It truly odd, could be someone strange... we saw like in the background in episode yeah, one. Yeah, it was like, oh, you saw that kid like walking past? Yeah, it was that person. So this is so like bonkers of a show that it could possibly be like somebody that we've never even met. Um, but so far, I do still think that Chanel isn't the killer. I think she just has killer tendencies. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's Grace. Her dad is definitely up for the chopping block. Um, I don't think it's Jamie Lee Curtis, uh, but everyone else is fit fair game. Oh, I don't think it's Kiki Palmer either. 
I also don't think it's Kiki Palmer. It could be Leah Michelle's character because she did appear later on. Yeah. But could be yeah, everyone else is fair game, I think. But so far, so good. I really like this episode. I think these episodes, these were a lot of information. I think good information to be moving the plot along, yeah. which I really, really enjoyed. Um, and I think the previous episodes that we watched were like the, probably the funniest that we experienced. So overall, great job, guys. But until next time, we have been your source for horror analysis. Criticism. And spooky, okay? And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.